Hi there, I'm Kurt, I'm with Edmonds, and we're at Charlotte Motor Speedway in Charlotte, North Carolina to drive the Mustang Dark Horse. Now this one is equipped with the handling package. So let's take a look at what makes the handling package a little bit different. We can start with that giant front splitter. It is slightly bigger than the regular one, and these wheels and tires. Now this is the easy way to tell this has that package. These are 19 by 10 and a half inch front tires, and they're wearing Pirelli Trofeo RS tires. These are specifically manufactured and engineered just for this car. Inside those wheels, 15.4 inch brakes, six piston calipers. It's got serious stopping power. Under hood, of course, 500 horsepower, five liter V8, come on. Inside, what you can't see, this car is equipped with a six-speed Tremec transmission. This is a manual transmission and it's great. They also offer a 10-speed automatic. You can get that too, but come on, man. It's a six-speed manual. You gotta get it. Moving to the back, what you can't see as well is this has a 373 Torsen limited slip differential. If you get the automatic, it's a 355. Rear brakes, 14 inches with four piston calipers. And because it has a handling package, it's got this big wing on the back of it. Now, I'm gonna go take some hot laps. Not because I'm particularly fast, but because it is so hot outside. It's like 90 degrees. I need some water or something. Hey there. So this fetching outfit brought to you by Safety. This is a head and neck restraint system meant to be worn with a three-point belt. So that's why I've got this on. And we're here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. We're gonna run the Roval the truncated portion of the Robles. So if you've watched a NASCAR cup race, you'll recognize some of it, but not all of it. We don't have a lot of laps, just two. So let's make a count. Up on the banking is pretty crazy. Here, nothing to sneeze at. Hard on the brakes. Good brakes, good brakes, good brakes. This is where we deviate from the normal track and come back onto the infield section. Tires are really something else, they're pretty quiet. They've got a lot of stick. Blind apex here, keep it up on the on the stripes down the hill. Again, if you've run the Roval, you probably haven't run this other section. It's pretty fun though. Tight, tight, tight. Motor's just great. Into second, back onto the banking. Give it the beans. Fast. This is so well behaved. You feel the power, but ride the curb just great. Blind apex again, keep it right on the line. Trying to feel where the grip is in the front tires. It's there, it's got a lot of grip. Out of the banking. You can no lift shift this car too. 
takes a little bit of getting used to, but it's great. Oh, this car's hauling ass. Down through the gears. And then give it full power. Try and keep it in third this time. Let it track out. There's your turn in. There's your apex. Keep it a little tight. Second gear. <laughs> I've only had four laps here, so you gotta excuse me. Probably not getting a lot of stuff right. Oh, so much grip out of these tires. I wish I could hear them, but you learn to trust them. Pretty well. Just ride that limiter a little bit. Sorry for it. And on it. Get on it. No lift shift. That activates over 5,000 RPM at over 90% throttle. And you just move out. Break at the six, five and a half. Down. Get on it. Try and leave it in third again. I like that. Pick up the power a little sooner. Wow, this is so good. It rotates so nicely. It's agile and stable at the same time, which is not something you find too often in really high performance cars. I think my lap is just about up, but I don't want to stop. And that's it. Well, that's a couple laps of uh, Charlotte Motor Speedway's Roval. You can't do track days without flaggers, so always say hi. Oh, this is a very serious Mustang. It's remarkably well composed on the street to allow you to come out to a track and do stuff like that. You know, it used to be a Mustang like this. You'd have to buy one stock and then modify the hell out of it. It might not be as good as this is right off the showroom floor. If this car is not fast enough for you, Ford is gonna sell a Mustang Dark Horse S, which is basically a track car. It's not quite a race car, but it's pretty close. But if you wanna go racing, Ford is going to sell a Mustang Dark Horse R, and that is homologated for racing. That has a fuel cell, has a cage, it's seam welded, and it's your ticket to international racing. So you can actually buy a Dark Horse, become obsessed with track stuff, buy a Dark Horse S, get a little better at racing or track driving, buy a Dark Horse R and race it. You can also buy, or will be able to buy, a Dark Horse GT4 and a GT3 car so you can actually do full-on international competition. Great. That's it for me, it's over. Thanks for riding along. Be sure to check out Edmunds for all your new and used car needs. I don't even know what to say anymore. Anyway, that was a good time. I should take my seatbelt off.